Sven-Goran Eriksson bravely came to terms with the idea of dying following a terminal cancer diagnosis, but one part of his battle was unbearably difficult. The former England manager's family confirmed in a statement today that he has died aged 76 following his devastating illness, saying. Sven-Goran Eriksson has passed away. After a long illness, SGE died during the morning at home surrounded by family. The Swede had announced the shock news to fans at the start of the year, revealing he had at best a year to live. Just three days before his passing, he opened up about the highs and lows of his extraordinary life in a new Prime video documentary, where he detailed the shock of his diagnosis and how he was coping. From the comfort of his beautiful home in Sun, Sweden, where he lived out the final years of his life with partner Yarniseth Alcides, he said of his pancreatic cancer. It was a shock. It's one of those which will not go away. But you can slow them down hopefully. I have no pain, but I know it's there. One day it will take you. Before that day, live instead of sitting down thinking about what and when it will happen. He admitted he lived life one day at a time, and tried not to think too much about what was to come. I always feel bad to plan the future, he said of his guilt to be leaving behind his devoted family. I take it as it comes. I know what I have and I know life will not last forever. Far away from that, but I'm okay. He explained that he was taking medicine in a bid to prolong his time, but heartbreakingly revealed he was sort of scared. We don't know what's going to happen, he added. For the film, released on Friday, he recorded an emotional final goodbye, but chose to do it in a room alone without a cameraman, bringing the crew to tears. Director Claudia Corbusiero said. Sven really wanted to make sure that this wasn't only a sad story. And that was something that he was really keen on, is I don't want this to be a boo-hoo. I'm dying thing. He wanted people to also lean into the fun of his life. In his final address to fans, Sven poignantly reflected. I had a good life. I think we are all scared of the day when we die, but life is about death as well. You have to learn to accept it for what it is. Hopefully at the end people will say, yeah, he was a good man, but everyone will not say that. I hope you will remember me as a positive guy trying to do everything he could do. Don't be sorry, smile. Thank you for everything, coaches, players, the crowds, it's been fantastic. Take care of yourself and take care of your life. And live it. Bye. The football star is survived by children Lena and Johan Eriksson, who also released a statement. It read. Our father Sven-Goran Eriksson fell asleep peacefully in his home at Bjorkfors outside Sun this morning. He has for a long time fought bravely with his illness, but not it came to an end. Our thoughts go out to Sven-Goran's father Sven, girlfriend Yaniseth and her son Alcides, to his brother Lasse and wife Jumnong as well as to all good friends and acquaintances in Sweden and around the world. Dad told us at the beginning of this year about his serious illness and received an amazing response from friends and football fans around Europe. He was invited to several football teams in England, Italy, Portugal and Sweden. They shared their love for football and for Dad. It was unforgettable for both him and us. He expressed his appreciation and joy and stated that such beautiful words are usually only uttered when someone has died. I get to hear it while I'm alive and I'm incredibly grateful for that. The heart beats twice and the tears come. I have had the best job in the world and I was happy every day for long periods. It's been fantastic, he said. We have shared his gratitude and got to experience the wonderful meetings between him football and all his friends. We thank everyone for these positive memories and your support during his illness. We hope that you will remember Svenis as the good and positive person he always was in both public and at home with us. Lena and John Erickson